Hi everyone. I am back. I just wanted to share with you the wedding album that I made using the Stamp Stamperry wedding collection. Hope you're all having a great day. And here we go. It is a gatefold, as you can see. We have the flowers on the side. I did put ribbon on it and lace, as you can see. Um, and here's the back. And this little wood chip piece, I'm not, I can't remember where I got it from, but I will put all the relevant information below. On the back here it says, handmade with love. I'm not sure where, what that came off of. It came off of something else and I thought I'd keep it. And the lace does just slide right off. Or you can untie it. And I did use, um, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, we'll come back to that. It'll come to me. We got the lace here at oh, burlap. That's what it is, or hessian. I use burlap and hessian. Then this paper here is I got from a seller on eBay, and it was just silver flowers. And I thought it would look nice if I added a little color, so I brushed some memento angel pink on some of the roses before I cut the paper. And let's look inside. Start with this side. As you can see it's a pocket with a little heart shape cut out from the paper collection. And here's another cut apart that says save the date. And here's the tag I made. And it's the same on this side, sort of. There's another cut, cut apart that says just married. Then this is from um is it Artie Mays? Um or is it Tsunami Rose? I think it might be Tsunami Rose. But it, either way, I'll leave it in in the comment section below. And then here is the other tag. And this is just a little flip section. It opens up for a couple of photos. And this is a tuck spot. Sorry. This is the tuck spot. And this is the first page, which flips open like this. And then there's two little sections for photos here or journaling. And this is a little tuck spot for some journaling. And then this side opens, and you've got tuck spot with a little pocket and a tag and a space for a photo. And then over here is another little pocket, another little journaling card, and there are magnets. And this is page two, and this is where I used, I put, well, I used magnets to I use magnets in the little cut apart as a flap closure for the flaps. And then that's down here is a tuck spot. So this comes off. And the flaps open. And you have 
looking for a photo. And then over here is a side pocket. And you've got a tag for journaling. And then and a photo mat and space for a photo here. And in the corner is a little bit of burlap with little hearts and, and flowers. from my stash. And then here's a little bride page which has a little fold out. So you can have a picture back here. And then tuck things in this little pocket and then here's another little tag or photo mat. And then this folds out. for photos. And it's magnetized. And then if we come over here to the groom's page, we have another little you know, the page for the journaling or for a photo. And then another little fold out section here. This is another pocket page, side pocket, page six. Booklet for pictures or journaling. Journaling tag and a photo mat. And space for a picture here. And then you've got the burlap with the hearts and the flowers again. And over here, I really, I just love the way this, this one turned out, because this flips up, and you've got space for a photo here, and then you come over here, and you've got space either side for photos, and then these can be used for photo mats or journaling, well, I think they more probably use them for photo mats, and you can tuck a few things in the sides. And this back page can either be used for a photo or for a journaling spot. And then over here we have a side pocket. We have this, which says, says congratulations. doesn't want to focus. And on the back is the same gray paper. There's that one. And it is magnetized. And on the back side is a tuck spot with a photo mat in it. And then this is a little file folder, I guess you could call it. A little pocket. So you can put things inside. And then this is the last page that's at the back. It's another pocket. And then 
me have another photo mat. And that's it. All of these little things that you see here, I got from a shop on eBay. And some of the paper that's in here, some of the gray paper is from my stash. Because I bought two pads of the stamp stampery wedding collection and then I couldn't find the other one. So I had to look through my stash and then lo and behold, after I was nearly done, I found it. Isn't that just the way? Yep, but that's it. This is the wedding album that I made. I hope you guys like it.